You can't be scared as a Christian. You need to get the boldness from God. Now, um, what we see in the book of Acts, and this is, one, this is my favorite book of the whole Bible, and what I love so much about the book of Acts is that they're turning the world upside down with their doctrine. I mean, they're actually going out and doing things. It's acts. It's action, right? That's what the Christian life is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be a life of action. It's not just to, to go to a service, talk to your friends, go home, and just be real happy about what a great Christian you are. It's a, it's a life of action. You need to take the Word of God and get out there and, and impact as many people as possible. You need to be preaching the Gospel. Not only preaching the Gospel, you need to be praying for those people, working on them, talking to them, keeping up with them, and trying to get them in church and make disciples of people. And going out and doing and living and not being some hypocrite either. The disciples were able to turn the world upside down with their, with their boldness. And they saw great success. Now, I believe in, in this movement that we're a part of, we're starting to see some good success. We are. There's a, there's a, lot, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of motivation. You see people now online there's, there's the, with the small town soul winning efforts and these other things are bringing people together. And a lot more Christians are starting to get more zealous for serving God. And praise the Lord. Amen. But you know what? It takes a lot more than even just a few people to really turn the world upside down. Do you have a vision of turning the world upside down? I mean, do you want to just make sure that everybody knows that if nobody has an excuse, that if they've at least heard the gospel of Christ and it's up to them. And if you have that vision, then you need to get active. You need to start doing more. You need to start getting off of your, of your comfortable surrounding. And look, doing action and doing this over Christ, you think it was comfortable sitting in a jail cell overnight? It's not comfortable. It's not the easy way. The easy way is to go home, go to bed, wake up, go to work, do your same old routine, and not end up doing anything. It takes a lot of action, but we need more than just a few people doing this. It's great to get excited over those few people doing it, but you need to get involved too. Look, there's nothing particularly special about any one individual. The Bible talks about Elijah as being, he was a like man just as we are. But the Bible says when he prayed unto God that it you know, didn't rain, it didn't rain for three and a half years. He prayed again and it rained. He said, look, he was a like man. He had the same temptations that we had. He was just like you or I. He's just, an, just a person, just a man. But he did great things for God. And anybody that does great things for God, look, we're all just people. We're all subject to, to the, the lusts of the flesh. But how do you deal with that? You need to get the boldness, first and foremost, to get started and get out and do this work.